Hey everybody, welcome back to Oni Camo Gaming, and this is your host Acidic, and in this episode of Hitman Absolution, we are starting off with a little bit of exposition. Everybody is after everybody in this game because Bert, so we finally made it to Hope, South Dakota, and you can see that Blake Dexter runs the place, and these cronies here are friends of Lenny. We gotta actually capture Lenny. We can't, we can't take Lenny out first. We gotta capture Lenny first. But before we can even get to Lenny, we gotta take out his boys. Go into this convenience store first, and the bat is essential for some reason. And I come up here and find a shotgun and all kinds of other stuff. I don't really need any of this, but... The explosive, the explosive, that's gonna be handy. I literally sit behind the store for like 58 seconds while I'm waiting for this guy to come back from across the street. And I just skipped all that for you so you didn't have to watch it. I forget to put him in the closet to get some of my points back. I just keep on trucking. The next target comes out across the street on this roof. I try to do a little bit of point shooting, but I absolutely mess it up because I forgot how to do it. If I don't use it, I'll forget how to use it, so I forgot how to use it. So as you can see, the bat is essential. I throw it out the window to lure the lady who owns the place or runs the place, whatever, outside. This is her problem to look at for some strange reason. When she walks away, I pick up the bat again because it's pretty much essential to my plan. final target in this area is across the street. He wanders around in this whole back area, but the closest he gets to the street is by this little shack slash house. So I pitch the explosive through the window and I just wait for him to come back. When he does come back, boom goes the dynamite. Goodbye, yo. And so now my only real problem is trying to get through the door in the back of this joint. For some strange reason, the guy here is spooked and he won't get out of my way. I waited on him for a solid minute and he would not get out of my way. To get him out of the way, I toss the bat and then I have to wait on a cop that he snitched on me to, to come and investigate. And he starts talking about 1995 for some strange reason and I'm actually kind of curious what the end world lore is about that. But finally, everybody walks away and I can have my way with this individual to capture the disguise, which I use to get to the back of this place. I am briefly glimpsed at for just a split second and I expend a hair of instinct to get through this. There was an option to grab a brick before if I needed a distraction or if you wanted a distraction, but I, I just skipped that. So flipping that switch, you can go right through the gate and pick the lock and move on to the next section. In this section, I set myself up with a distraction so I can get across and get my next kill rather seamlessly. So I walk up here, crouch, and I shoot the tank, put my gun away, walk straight across, and I'm heading for the wrench. These uh, cops straight across the way are kind of looking in my general direction. They're a little bit onto me when they're people under disguise, so I wait for them to get out of the way as I have my way with the wire. Then I head back over to the box, spending just a little bit of instinct, obviously, to shut off the power. And now I have to wait this out, because these guys are going to be just looking for me for a solid, solid minute. So once everybody kind of clears out of my way, there's a ledge up here you can grab and you can swing on over to grab another ledge to hit the window. And from this point, it's a good vantage to check out what you just set up. But real quick, uh, I, I grab these pills. They're not going to come into play in my run here, but I just grab them just for the sake of grabbing them. So after those shocking events, I just wait for this guy to turn around and I bolt down the hall. Go through this door. You'll notice that there's a barber disguise. We're gonna skip that for now. We need to go through this door and head on down this hall. You'll see Lenny here, but we don't wanna really mess with him yet. We're gonna go ahead and set up our next kill before handling Lenny. 
So this guy walks in and out of the house a couple times. It's kind of hard to get him timed exactly right, but you can wait right here with hardly any issue. You can walk behind this door to keep from anyone peeping yet. And once it closes, once he's at a far enough angle, you can just take him out from behind and put him in the box. <laughs> now, I almost make a mistake, but I remember that guy was there and I decided to go the long way because now it is time to pick up the Barber Disguise. When you have the Barber Disguise, Lenny will talk to you. So we just want to go and get his attention real quick. I go back out into the main the playroom, and of course the timing, Lenny is walking away from me, so I go shoulder check him real quick. You do, oh well, you know what they say here. Um, a man who argues with the barbers and his head examined. Let's go. Why do I feel like I would just listen to a W. Bush speech. He uh, babbles on for a minute. I didn't want to listen to all of it. I did listen to a little bit of it because he is, he is so full of it. But anyway, there's a cop in here and I don't know how you actually got it sneaking him past the cop, but hit the action button and it'll happen. There's some exposition about the girl being powerful, like being a big murder machine or whatever. Like, all the, I, I can tell you, I've listened to this a couple times and I still really have no idea. And I feel like the plot really hasn't advanced. Once Blake Dexter figures out that Lenny has been kidnapped, he calls the sheriff into the situation, who is apparently into some kind of like BDSM stuff, you know, like, uh, I'm not here to sex shame. So we're, we're moving on you. It's this real badass moment with 47 making Lenny uh, dig his own grave here. Now we're finally going to do something about that. You could choose your own method here, but me, I like to get close up and personal. I'm like a dog with a bone. Hey y'all, it's your boy Acidic. If you want to support the channel, that'd be mega awesome. Please hit up the Patreon. Any support would be appreciated. I'm trying to do my own thing. So, take it easy. Thanks for watching. That toggle man, that's me. The one that's me. I'm busted to the people who are sick here. One shot. One, two, three. No, I'll get a cat, huh?